Hello everybody and welcome back again to Hello Neighbor. Today we're going to be taking a look at some interesting stuff. Yesterday we covered our second neighbor just sort of hiding out up there. Uh, it's, there's something weird going on with that, but we haven't really figured it out yet. Um, but to sort of take some steps to sort of figure that out, hopefully, um, we're going to be heading up to the secret moon and sun rooms. So we haven't found out what those mean exactly yet. We know that there's a calendar in there that we're going to take a look at here in a second, which we believe has relevance to the Hello Neighbor release date. Yes, the actual one, I think, um, as it is set to release this summer. So it would make sense that that would be the release date. But I don't know where I put our binoculars. Just sort of looking around. I kind of dropped them from way up high in the sky. So I'm hoping that they didn't like bounce onto the roof or anything like that, but it looks like they're just totally gone. So I guess we just don't get binoculars anymore. <laughs> That's kind of annoying. I kind of wanted those, but uh, oh well, we're just going to leave them behind. Not important. Let's go ahead and get ourselves up to the sunroom. So the sunroom is something that we found on the first day, and we couldn't figure out how to get past it. Now, people have figured out how to get past it normally without cheating, and the way that you do it is you go ahead and you open this room up uh, in the night, and then you block it with stuff like a chair, say, like this. You just put it in the way. Like, okay, not like that like so and then whenever it tries to shut that happens uh, and then you come back to it and it'll be open like that uh, but we're just gonna go ahead and make our way through it cuz you know we don't care <laughs> um, and then this room opens on its own during the sunny days so it should open now here we go alright here it is there's more binoculars give me that <laughs> give me that <laughs> There we go. Okay, that's all I wanted. <laughs> um, okay, but there's a few interesting things in here. There's obviously something that we didn't see before or haven't ever seen before, which is this X with a 1 on it. Uh, and I'm guessing that this room has mostly to do with the release date, seeing as how the items in here are rather relevant to it, at least in my opinion. Meaning, of course, that Hello Neighbor would be coming to the Xbox One, which would make sense. I wouldn't be surprised about that at all, uh, and it would be coming on the 29th of August, I believe this is, so that would also be a rather, you know, it would be, it would make sense as a date for release. So we've got our Xbox One, wavy, there it is, okay, so here's our Xbox One, we just set it down right there, and there is our date for release. So that's kind of interesting that those are both in here. Um, and I think that that's what they're relevant to. I could obviously be totally wrong. I've been totally wrong before. Uh, <laughs> but that just makes the most sense to me. And there's not really anything else in here that's super important. And we thought this room was super suspicious before. Uh, but I don't know. There's nothing. Like, we hear the kid from here. Um, and I don't know what's going on in here. Oh, this is the other side of that. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Right. That's that door. Okay. So this, this is actually kind of important. So obviously we can't get in any, anywhere from in here uh, without cheating. But if we throw that, uh, I just wanted to throw that. That's all that was <laughs> relevant to that. Um, but right on the other side of here is actually somewhere we can get without cheating. cheating. And we've been in there before. This is actually the shooting apple room where we find our gun, uh, which we have since destroyed. And bonus tanks tank is right there as well. There's a few other items in here that are kind of suspicious. suspicious. We have this cone thing, which we don't know what it does. Um, and I think that that is it. That's, that's basically it. I don't know what the cone's relevance is, but it's there. And then we have that cabinet there. And you can get to this no room normally just by jumping from up there with the umbrella. Uh, and then there's a few things in this stack. We have our bird cage and a gear. So that's kind of interesting as well, but also not super relevant. So let's get on to the relevant stuff, which is behind this door. If we hack back here, there's this room. Now you guys might remember this water from being behind the door before. And there's actually, it goes up here to this ladder. And where does this ladder come from? Okay. Ladder goes to a door, an empty room, uh, an empty locked room that is locked without any chairs on it or a lock on it. So this is kind of a suspicious room. Um, I don't know why it's even here. I guess they just haven't put anything in with it, but I mean, it's all attached. Um, and there are these boards. Now, someone has said that if we take a crowbar to these boards, we can actually remove them. So I guess we should try that out, because then we'll know for sure if you're able to get in this room without cheating. So let's go ahead and find ourselves our crowbar if we can. Oh, great. I don't know where we've put it. Hey, neighbor, you know where we put our crowbar by any chance? You know where we lost that bad boy? No? Well, you know, chasing us isn't going to help out the situation for either of us now, is it? 
Well, great, Scott. I don't know where we put our, our crowbar, but if we are able to use the crowbar to remove these boards, we should be able to, in theory, stand right here and remove the boards and then break the window and get inside. So then, this would be a room that we can get into normally without hacking. So that's sort of what we're, what we're after here, is rooms that you can get into without hacking. Because um, they're actually more important than the others. So if we go ahead and drop ourselves down um, and open this up. Oh, right, we can't open this up. So just peeking onto the other side, you can see there's nothing over there. So if we go ahead and actually go inside, this is another one of the rooms that does its loading thing. Okay, I didn't do that right. Nope. Am I stuck? What did I do? There we go. Okay, so if we come in here, and if we drop ourselves right here, there, it does the loading thing. Uh, and then it just spits us back out right on the other side of the door. So that might be another way... Um, it might be something that loads the ending. And that's sort of my theory as to how we're going to get this alternate ending, is one of these two doors. There's this one here that loads up another thing and it just doesn't load anything. And then there's this one in here that loads up another thing and doesn't do anything. So if we hop inside of here, um, I think, and then just do this. Um, maybe? Maybe I was wrong. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so if we peek through that doorway, like so... It kicks us back out here, and it sort of actually throws us. So it does have an action that happens. It's not just, you know, peeking through it. Um, it doesn't just spit us back out here. It actually throws us in this direction, which is kind of suspicious. Um, and I think IGP actually found that one, so that's kind of interesting. But I don't, I don't know what relevance that has. There's obviously no way of really getting to that without hacking, uh, unless you come through this way by breaking those windows and coming in here. And then maybe... Is this loaded up? No. Okay, so there's not really a way to get in there without cheating our way in there. So I don't know if that one would be relevant. Or maybe those doors unlock, and that would be how you go about it. But I'm just, I'm trying to find ways <laughs> in which we would load the secret ending uh, without cheating if we just had the extra code put in. But we don't know where that goes yet. Obviously, that's still the most important step. But our neighbor is up here. Yeah, there he is. I just wanted to make sure he was still here and didn't just disappear. But here he is. And we don't know what he does. So he's just sort of chilling. So there's one more thing that I want to try, actually. Um, so in Tiny Build's video that they showed us on Twitter, they were in, I think, nighttime. It wasn't nighttime. It was like uh, dusk, I guess you would say. So if we go ahead and get to dusk and then go back up there, are things going to be different? Hey, buddy. Where's he at? Um, here, let's throw this at his door. Hey, friend. Oh, buddy, oh, pal. Come and give us a hug. Yeah, there you are. Come on. Hug hug me. Hug me. Where? I'm over here. Hey, dummy. Yeah, there you go. Hug me. <laughs> okay. Uh, and we're not going to escape from him, even though we are capable of it. I don't really want to. He's our best buddy. Okay, so perfect. So it is the exact time that we wanted it to be. So now let's go have a peek up there and see if anything has changed, because this is sort of what they showed off. Um, so we'll see if there's anything special going on. I don't think there is. I think it'll probably end up being the same. Um, but I guess it's worth checking since we don't know what else to do. Now, it's still the same. Our neighbor's still the same, just sitting there chilling in this creepy way. That is really spooky. I'm actually, I'm kind of freaked out by that. Let's drop this and drop this. We're just going to have a closer look at our whoop. There we go. What's going on, neighbor? What's going on, buddy? He's just sort of chilling up here, being creepy. <laughs> that's really freaky. Okay, um, well, I guess that's all that we wanted to cover today. We just wanted to take a look inside of the moon room uh, in the secret sun door, and we did that, and now we are done. Uh, okay, we can jump down here. Let's go ahead and actually... Where am I going? I know it's around here somewhere. I just want to get back there. Here it is. Okay, so right in here is where we were before. Get out of the way, chair. Okay, and that's our secret room right there. That's where we were at, uh, and that's what we were looking at today. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and end things there for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, we're just sort of checking up on our neighbor and trying to come up with something that's going on here because there's obviously something really suspicious going on, and we're still not sure what it is exactly. But we're going to figure it out, everybody. We will figure it out very soon. 
But anyways, we're going to go ahead and end things there for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Hello Neighbor. Tomorrow we'll be back with some more interesting stuff. We've got some kind of new stuff to look at. Uh, but uh, you guys will see exactly what I mean. That's going to be it for today, though, everybody. I hope you guys have enjoyed.